All right, so we have a special occasion. We have a new honored member to the team. Keep watching. Yes, that's right. We got a new member of the collection from Logies, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'm just gonna let you see from start to finish. We have a perishable, a perishable plant inside of this cardboard box protector of this new this new one I'm, I'm going to show you shortly hold on right now I'm a little nervous Closer, getting closer. Got some uh, instructions, but we're not worried about that right now. We're not worried about that. We got some paper, some more paper. It's kind of, kind of moist. I don't know if anybody likes that word moist, but I like that word moist. <laughs> We go. We gotta, gotta push the box, get the box up out of there. Cause this is the unraveling the S cargo begonia. Of course, it was in a box wrapped up in some paper. So the leaves, the leaves are a little bit, you know, curled up. And we're still doing some wrapping. I'm just noticing the swirl, the swirl. Okay, just a little bit more extra wrapping. Then they got this. Uh, Plastic, something, looks like uh, cotton, but that Easter stuff you put in a basket. So, looks, looks pretty good. I mean, it should, leaves should uh, curl out. But the uh, escargot begonia is, was on my most wanted list. There's like a purple hue to it. Like I said, the swirl is pretty cool, how it kind of swirls up in the middle. Now, this escargot begonia, basically how it's got its name, is from the leaves. The uh, leaves are kind of circular, and they do look like escargot, meaning a snail. So that's why it's called the escargot begonia. Um, it was really hard to find. I don't know how many other plants Loji has, but if you want to check them out, basically go get, grab an escargot. Um, the care for an escargot begonia. Hey Google, what's the care for an escargot begonia? And basically, how do you care for an escargot begonia? Hey Google, how do you care for an escargot begonia? Hey Google, how do you care for an escargot begonia? On the website homeguides.sfgate.com, they say, keep escargot begonias in an area with a temperature of at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit. They prefer areas with a relative humidity of at least 50%, so place container plants on a tray filled with rocks or pebbles and water. You can also run a humidifier indoors if the air is too dry. Alright, um... All right, care for the escargot begonia. It needs bright and direct light. Filtered morning and afternoon sun is preferable. You wanna keep the begonia in at least 60 degree Fahrenheit. Temperatures above 60, 60 degrees. Uh, water the begonia when the surface is soil. Um, 
Watering, you want to just water just to keep it uh, slightly moist. Doesn't need a fast drying soil. I'm going to use uh, most likely um, the uh, Pro Mix um, with. I always do Pro Mix with the Happy Frog uh, soil mixtures because they both hold and release a little bit of water. Um, and fertilizing you would do that during the early spring and we're past that so i'm not going to water the begonia i'm sorry i'm not going to fertilize the begonia until spring i'm not going to do anything but i'm just going to water it make sure it gets the nice humidity um my temperature and the humidity of my, my area where i keep the plant space is around 70 percent which is awesome for this plant so um, there's hybrids like this, but I guess this is the, the S Cargo Rex from Logies. They did a good job packing this thing. It has a pretty solid uh, container. We definitely want to change up the pot. And um, there'll definitely be some pics on Instagram once these leaves start to look like their true form. We just got some. Uh, Right. The thing about today, it's the beginning of a heat wave from, from what I understand. Um, so I had to rush home to get this out of the sun because my the front of my house is south facing. So I knew this was going to probably cook in that box. So, uh, but it's still alive and well. We still got moisture, I'm sure. You're gonna have left it out for like an hour or something like that, it'll still be okay, because I think we're now, what is it? Alexa, what's the temperature outside right now? Right now, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 75 degrees. So it's 90 degrees right now. Uh, so it wasn't wasn't a good look for it in, in the box, but once again, it's still moisture. They packed it very well with the plastic. Everything worked out pretty well. Uh, once again, the escargot, begonia. That's all, folks. That's all I got for you today. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And keep growing.